Hi, I'm Ruben Duran. I'm 29 years old. I fight in the Bantamweight division for UFC, which is 135. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was bullied and like punked all the way up to about seventh grade. It was always the, the biggest kid picking on me. I grew up being the, the smallest kid in my class. Seventh grade is when I started fighting back and then, you know, I was actually pretty good at it. So I started Taekwondo, I started boxing, and then uh, wasn't getting picked on anymore. <laughs> About five years ago now, um, my sister had passed, and uh, unfortunately it was a uh, suicide. And that was during the time in my life where I wasn't really sure what I wanted to be. Um, I was kind of messing up a lot, um, just with everything in life, not really taking training as seriously, because uh, my sister was always the, the caregiver of the family, always taking care of us, and it was always kind of me being the, the mess up, I guess you can say. You know, I went through my little phase where I was kind of like not caring anymore and then uh, realized that now I have to take care of my mom and my little brother and just be there for them. So it was because of that that I took, I took my fighting career a lot more seriously and definitely where I'm, where I'm at today. This past year, I've been dealing with uh, some injuries. Um, actually, my last fight, June 4th of last year, I actually tore my rotator cuff uh, and my bicep tendon about two weeks before that fight. So I fought that, uh, I fought that fight with the torn rotator cuff. Duran had his back, very nice takedown. You're playing the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke, Ruben Duran. After the fight, I had shoulder surgery. And then uh, about three months after shoulder surgery, I was kind of getting back into rolling when my ACL blew out. So now I'm sitting with uh, shoulder surgery and about to get ACL reconstruction. So I did that, I had both surgeries, and uh, was healing, getting back to training, and then the same shoulder that I just did uh, sh uh, surgery on, I actually dislocated it. So uh, I've been dealing with uh, some, some pretty solid injuries this past year, but uh, I'm actually good. I mean, I, I stay more, on it. I didn't, three. you know, sit at home and just uh, dwell on it. I got back to work. I did what I had to do to recover from these injuries. And now I'm, I'm back to 100% and I'm ready to go. You know, honestly, uh, I mean, I have to say that Jake has definitely been like a dad to me, my, my, own, my own dad. I haven't had a relationship with him since I was 12 years old. So uh, I kind of grew up without a dad and uh, just had my mom there. So Jake was definitely there, uh, you know, being like my dad and was definitely taking care of me and looking out for me like a dad would. <laughs> 